Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create the look of weathered hand-painted graffiti on a brick wall and how you can easily and quickly change its colors. For your convenience, I provided this brick wall background that you can place your graffiti onto. Its link is located in my video's description or project files below. Open your horizontal type tool and pick a font. I'm using Grafanti. If you'd like to use it, I provided its link as well. I'll make its size approximately 350 points, sharp, and center alignment. You can use any color for now since we'll be replacing it with the color overlay layer style. Click on your document and type out your text. For this font, I'm typing in all lowercase. If you want to adjust the space between two characters, click between those characters and press and hold Alt or Option as you press the right or left arrow key on your keyboard. Then click the check mark at the top. Click the FX icon and click Color Overlay. Click the color box and pick a color for the inside of your text. You can always change it later if you want. Click Stroke and pick any color. I'll make the size 16 pixels, however, feel free to make it any size you like. The position is outside. Click Enter Shadow. Again, you can adjust these settings to whatever looks good to you. I'll make the color black, the angle 43 degrees, and the distance 23 pixels. Click Outer Glow, pick a color, and click OK. Make the opacity and spread 100% each and make its size whatever looks good to you. Then click OK. If you want to add a graphic above or below your text, press V to open your Move tool and drag your text to reposition it. The graphic that we add to our text will look best if we begin with a simple, high contrast black and white image. For this example, let's use a graphic that's already loaded into our custom shape tools. First, Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Open your Custom Shape tool, and at the top, choose Pixels. If you're using CS5 or earlier, the pixel icon is here. Open your current shapes, and click the gear icon to open your list of shape presets. Click All to load all of them. When you see this message, click OK to replace the current shapes with all of them. If you like, you can either scroll down or drag the window open to see all of them at once. Find one that you like to use and click it. I'm using a shape called Crown 4. Click the gear icon and tick Define Proportions and check From Center. Drag out the shape to a size that works with your text. To reposition it, press V to open your Move tool and move it. I want to get rid of the bottom part of the crown, so I'll open my Eraser tool and make sure its hardness, opacity, and flow are all 100%. Then I'll press Enter or Return. I'll adjust the size of the eraser with my bracket keys and brush over the bottom part that I want to erase. We'll copy the text effects onto our shape layer by pressing and holding Alt or Option as we drag the FX icon onto the shape layer. To change the colors of the shape, click Color Overlay and the color box. You can either pick another color here or click on a color of the text to copy its color and click OK. Click Stroke and the color box. 
I'll pick another color of the text to pick up that color and click OK. I'll keep the same color for outer glow, but if you want to change it, just repeat the previous steps. We'll convert our text and shape into a smart object so we can wrap them around the contours of the brick wall using a displacement map. To do this, first shift click the text layer to make it active as well, and click the icon at the upper right of the layers panel. Click Convert to Smart Object. Hide the graffiti layer and make the brick wall layer active. Make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J. We'll use this copy for the displacement map. Displacement maps work best when they're slightly blurred. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it 3 pixels and click OK. Remove its color by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift U. Go to File and Save As. Save it to your desktop and name it Displacement. Save it as a Photoshop PSD file and click Save. If you see this message, just click OK. Now that we've saved it, we can trash it by either pressing the delete key on your keyboard or dragging it to the trash. Make your graffiti layer visible and active. Click the FX icon and click Blending Options. The Blend If feature essentially clips one layer into another based on the tones of the two layers. In the near future, I'll be doing an in-depth tutorial on Blend If, but for now, drag the black underlying layer to the right. Doing this pushes the dark tones of the brick wall through our graffiti. By dragging the white underlying layer to the left, it pushes the light values through. We can create smoother transitions by splitting the triangular icon in two. To do this, press and hold Alt or Option and drag the second half across. You can choose to give your graffiti the degree of how much you'd like it to be weathered and distressed based on where you drag it to on the underlying layer bar. Next, we'll wrap our text around the contours of the bricks using the displacement file that we saved earlier. Go to Filter, Distort, and Displace. Make the horizontal and vertical scales 8, stretch to fit, and repeat edge pixels. Locate and click the displacement file, and click Open. If you want to change the overall colors, click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Hue Saturation. To restrict the adjustment layer to affect just our graffiti layer and not the brick wall, either click the Clipping Mask icon or press Ctrl-Alt-G on Windows or Command-Option-G on a Mac. First, I'll reduce the graffiti's color saturation to better blend it in with the bricks. Slide the hue to the left and right until you find a color combination you like. Lastly, we'll add a soft, dark vignette on the edges of the background to focus our attention more on the graffiti itself. Make a new layer. We'll fill it with white, and since the background color is white, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. Change its Blend Mode to Multiply. Go to Filter and Lens Correction. Open the Custom tab and drag the Vignette slider all the way to the left and click OK. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.